Hello Libra, welcome to your bonus love reading Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Libra, this is a collective love message for your sign, so please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Let's see Libra, what do we have for you? Libra. Triggered. So Libra, we have very strong twin flame energy here. So you might be dealing with your twin flame, but what I am getting here that this person feels that about you. I'm getting that they might be mirroring you, okay? But there is something here about, I feel that, you know, Libra, it's like, um, you might be suspecting that this person is avoiding you, okay? Because we have hidden and then we have winter. I'm getting here who's someone who kind of gone, they have gone cold on you or they've ghosted you here, Libra. Oh, it's just like you texting them or you trying to be in touch with this person or even talk to them, but it's like they are avoiding, avoiding a conversation. Mutual energy, we have self-love. There is something here, Libra, about this person um, focusing a lot on themselves. It's like a cause and effect because they are coming across as someone who's very self-absorbed, um, quite selfish you might be feeling that well if this person is acting that way then i will just focusing on my i will just start focusing on myself practicing self-love self-care mm -hmm. when it comes to your energy we have ascension courage i feel that you are going for awakening libra this person because we have overall energy triggered. I feel this is someone here who might be triggering you. And it's like, there is something here about your shadow. It's like this person is triggering uh, certain things. And I feel it, it takes courage for you to work through those things, to face them. And it might be something like fears or an anxiety or, you know, something that it's uncomfortable. It's, and because of that, you are going through awakening. Mm -hmm. Through awakening. It, there is some sort of shift here, it's happening. It's a very profound energy. When it comes to this person, you didn't care with someone who can get very easily triggered. And when they get triggered, this is someone who might be running, running away, don't, not wanting to face problems or issues. You know, that energy, I feel this is quite, quite a profound connection and not an easy one, Libra. Already energy is quite, yeah. 
there is a lot going on here let's see let's see could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards Libra and this connection please nine of pentacles ten of pentacles the emperor three of wands page of cups and king of cups strength the empress and two of pentacles well libra the, we have the emperor and the empress divine masculine divine feminine energy this person sees you as their divine counterpart and we have this twin flame energy on their side of the reading so this is someone who feels this connection big time nine of pentacles ten of pentacles the emperor with the Page of Cups and King of Cups. Libra, this person has very strong feelings for you with the Page of Cups and King of Cups. And it's like they want to confess those feelings to you. But I feel that you are dealing here with someone who's been for quite some time single or in that kind of single person's mindset. And, it, and it's like they, they get used to certain things, habits. The thing is here that this is someone who doesn't want to be lonely anymore or single anymore or be in that kind of mindset because we have 10 of pentacles with the emperor this is someone who is who wants stability this person sees expansion and growth with you you know But there is a lot going on behind the, behind the scenes. I feel this person is... I'm getting someone with the baggage, Libra, who is hiding maybe this, who is trying very much to, to this baggage to not affect this connection. But it's like it's, it's, it's stronger. And I feel recently it seriously resurfaces itself again. Strength, the Empress. This is someone who wants to be with you. This is someone who sees future with you, growth, expansion. Mm -hmm. It's like this person wants to maintain the balance, be grounded. But I feel that they can indeed get very easily triggered. And if they get easily triggered, this person is withdrawing their energy or it's like they are taking a step back. And I feel that's what's, what happened recently. Oh, it's happening now. But based on those cards, you have someone who truly cares about you. So you might be dealing with Aries. We have Leo, um, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Libra okay so far oh gosh not uh, let's see your energy libra could you please show me libra's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection please queen of pentacles Knight of Cups, the Hermit, Five of Swords, Page of Swords, and Ace of Cups. Overall energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Swords, and Five of Pentacles. Whatever is happening at the moment, Libra, in this connection, I feel that you are quite disappointed and you might feel emotionally hurt. 
uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel that you've been nothing but very caring, very loving, very nurturing. But this is also an energy of self-love. That Queen of Pentacles. And I feel as, as in the first position, it, this card is showing up for you. I feel that you are making decision that, you know, recently something here happened. And because of that, you've made the decision that you, you're going to focus on yourself. Mm-hmm. There is something here about you wanting an apology, this person to come forward with an offer of peace with this Knight of Cups, the Hermit with the Five of Swords and Page of Swords. I feel that you see this person as someone who is quite complex and they have those tendencies to sabotage good things in their life. Because Five of Swords with the Hermit, that, that gives a strong vibe of uh, self-sabotage. And it's like, this person shouldn't be doing this because they've learned their lesson, but they're still doing it. They are stuck in a certain cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. We have Ten of Swords and Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Swords is also energy of self-sabotage. I'm getting here, Libra, that you get this person. It's like, you know who you're dealing with, you know, even if they didn't tell you their full story, you just get the vibe. And based on what you've already know, I feel that you are quite spot on because that's what your energy is telling me. And um, I feel that you see this person as someone who might have abandonment issues, uh, who is coming from the place of luck, like uh, they are lacking something. Yeah, and it's like with the ten, with this wheel of fortune and ten of swords, they are stuck in a cycle, in a cycle of uh, self sabotage. Five of swords, page of swords, ace of cups. Yeah, I'm getting here quite strongly, Libra, that uh, you want this person to clarify certain things. At the moment, you might be seeing them as, as someone who's been quite manipulative, or they, or they giving, they are giving you impression that they are playing mind games, you know, that they have questionable intentions here. Um, but um, Ace of Cups, I feel that you truly want this person to come forward here with an offer of love and peace, and it feels like they're coming towards you. Uh, but something recently really, really, really disappointed you. I'm getting that energy that that that's not fair. That's not okay. You might be dealing with Sagittarius. So let's see the outcome. It's I feel this is very complex energy in a sense of very complex connection. There is a lot going on uh, emotionally, you know. Let's see. Could you please show me the outcome? Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. For some of you, you might have met this person during a winter, winter season. season. Mm. Six of Cups, the Hanged Man. Nine of Swords. Queen of Swords, Justice, you might be dealing with Pisces, Cross Watches, the roles can be reversed, Ten of Swords, again. We have the chariot. For some of you, there might be a physical distance between the two of you. We have the lovers 
and the five of wands i feel libra that you that both of you are clashing <sighs> six of wands page of wands and the devil card yeah there is something that needs to be worked through as an overall energy for this reading so libra this person here it's coming with the energy of six of cups the hanged man and nine of swords if indeed there is no contact situation at the moment or it's like this person has gone cold on you they are coming back six of cups suggests here that this person will try to make the situation better uh, this is a card of reconciliation uh, someone can can indicate that someone wants to reconnect with us and that's what's going to happen um, yeah this hanged man and with the nine of swords i feel that you're dealing here with someone who has those tendencies to procrastinate they're assuming here the worst yeah but in and there is a need for them to look at the situation from a different perspective not only this situation many situations i would say but I feel that whatever here happened between the two of you, this person is losing sleep over this. And they are starting seeing things differently. That's why they are coming forward here with this energy of Six of Cups, which is beautiful energy. And if you want your apology, uh, Libra, it feels like you will get, you will get one. Mm -hmm. Mutual energy, we have Queen of Swords, Justice and Ten of Swords. That's what I was getting. That you might be feeling that something it it something wasn't fair something wasn't right at the moment energetically between the two of you, you might feel like uh with the ten of swords um something here ended energetically between the two of you it's like there is this big energy of disappointment mm -hmm. and it's like there is a need I feel for this person, cross watches the rose can be reversed. There is a need for this person to come forward and clarify things with you. They need to balance things out with you. And also they need to bring more justice and fairness to the situation. This is someone who needs to learn to listen with this queen of swords. That would really help this connection. Mm. And we have the chariot, the lovers, and five of wands. We have Cancerian energy here with the chariot. Also, Capricorn um, is showing up as well. Uh, so you might be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, so Libra, chariot with the lovers and five of wands. I see reconciliation. You know, I, I see this person taking... Uh, action in order to be with you but we have a five of wands uh, I feel that you are clashing with this person it 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 feels like it is it might be indeed kind of a twin flame kind of connection or it might feel that way but with the five of wands uh, yeah there is something here that uh, I feel yeah you are triggering each other and uh, it feels here that love is there attraction is there wanting to be together this feeling is also there but five of wands suggests that there is a there is a clash you know and it might be a case Libra that this is someone who refuse to meet you halfway or it's like they are not on the same page regarding something or it's just you know they are getting on your nerves it might be something like this i'm not seeing this connection ending but i see uh, that indeed it's not an easy one Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, uh, there are people, I feel that both of you have feelings for each other with the lovers.
Six of Wands, Page of Wands and the Devil card. Yeah, Libra. This person will be in touch with you. They are not letting go. But also there is something mm, that needs to be worked through, especially with this Devil card. It is a sign that something might be toxic or someone is bringing something toxic to the situation and something here needs to be worked through. I feel that there is a problem surrounding communication. You might be dealing here with someone who has problems with communication. They, they don't communicate clearly, you know, with this page of wands because that's a messenger. Six of wands. Yeah, this, this person is coming back. They want your attention. They care a lot and they are already attached. But I'm seeing kind of, a, you know, connection full of roller coaster moments, if I can say it that way. But it feels here, Libra, that you will get your apology and this person will try to make amends. Libra, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you, Libra. Have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.